Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another uh, Ryzen related uh, video. Uh, in this uh, part I'm going to show you how to actually overclock the CPU and adjust the memory frequency because uh, there are a lot of uh, requests of how to do that and apparently on uh, the Gigabyte Gaming 3 uh, if you go to auto settings and press enter there's no pop-up menu so it looks like you cannot modify the settings also the same kind of applies for the memory it's auto and you cannot adjust it actually it's very simple you can either do a simple overclock you need to use the plus or minus sign from your numpad on the keyboard and if i press the plus here on the cpu frequency you can see i'm changing now the clock ratio and if i keep increasing it step by step I am now at 3 GHz, the standard uh, speed, and then I can increase it in small steps, as you can see, and I can go up to, let's see, how, see, you see, this is absolutely more than enough, so I don't think that you are going to get that speed from uh, this CPU, even uh, on nitrogen, but... Uh, I want it just to check the maximum value and now I'm going to put this back to auto because I don't plan to overclock it for now I'm using the stock cooler but I'm preparing something better and uh, on the memory it's the same thing you just press plus and you have two options on uh, my memory so my memory will run at uh, 3 gigahertz so that's the maximum speed this I'm going to try to see if it works or not and of course you can adjust the multiplier here and obtain up to 3.2 gigahertz so you get a lot of options and uh, it uh, will enable you to overclock of course you can also go into advanced CPU core settings and here you have some other options you can uh, down core uh, your CPU and disable cool and quiet and so on but the same adjustment here is uh, is available so you can choose uh, your multiplier and that's how you overclock this so now I have the memory set at 3 gigahertz so I'm going to save the configuration and exit and hopefully this will boot up without modifying anything else because the memory is uh, at 3 GHz, so I don't want to increase the voltage. And it has booted. I'm going to let it enter the uh, Windows and then uh, I'm going to benchmark and test the stability.